What's going on, guys? My name's Corey Komori, and welcome to Lyric Breakdowns here on the Breakdown Channel. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing Stranded by Gojira. Released in 2016 off of the Magma album, Stranded touches upon the struggles of grief and depression. It's a song that contains subject matter that is as heavy and weighty as the crushing riffs that permeate the song musically. Jumping into the song, we hear the words, a growing sickness in the heart, distinctive lack of control, the cure is somewhere in the silence, but I'm crushed by the noise inside. Joe de Plantier describes the festering sensation associated with depression as a result of grief. This sickness spreads like an infestation and slowly takes over its host, corroding them from the inside out. It seems like he's describing the process of one's foundation being eroded away completely due to depression. During this process, it seems like this individual has completely lost all control in their life and things have started to spiral as a result of that. What is also touched upon is the reality of in order to really overcome situations like this, most of the time one has to detach themselves from the situation itself so that they can look at the situation objectively so they can decide which actions need to be uh, put into place so that change can occur. The line, the cure is somewhere in the silence, really hits home this point for me because again, it's poetically explaining the process of detachment, the process of having to really remove yourself from the equation to figure out how to resolve uh, mental health issues in general. And what seems to be conveyed here is that normal, under normal circumstances, he'd be able to remove himself from the equation and solve the issues that are going on, but instead this silence becomes like a crushing noise. You know, there is nothing he can do to change these situations that are at hand, uh, even when detaching himself from the equation and trying to look at it objectively. And that's a result, again, of grief. And it's no secret that this album was written during a tumultuous period in the Duplantier uh, brothers' lives. And I'm sorry if I'm you know, butchering their last name. Um, this album was written when their mother fell ill and eventually died. And that traumatic experience is really felt on this album. Uh, because there are times where the album is positive and it's looking at things from the perspective of, oh, you know, if you just remain positive, you're going to push through these struggles. You're going to make it. You're going to succeed. And then there are other sides of this album that are a little more pessimistic and a little darker because the reality is, is that their mother did not make it out of the struggles that she was going through. And there's a true sense of grief that is present on this album that mirrors the process that one goes through when encountering the struggles of potentially or eventually losing a loved one. Moving on through the song, we hear the words, Don't lock the door on me. You'd kill me face down dead. Another part of me falls for you. To reiterate what I was speaking about on the first verse, it really seems like in the process of isolating himself, uh, the speaker has, you know, lost a part of himself because, you know, they're just left in the silence alone. And right now is a period of time where they need to be around people. They need to be around other people that are going to help them get through these struggles and that they don't need to be isolated. They can't be isolated. If they are, it's going to be the death of them. The topic of grief and depression really reaches a fever pitch on this track because it really feels like expression of the pain and frustration that the speaker is going through. Uh, in this case, I really feel that this is the pain that Joe was feeling at the time when he wrote this song. Uh, there's really nothing uh, detaching it from him and painting it as if it's a character or anything like that. It really feels like a very personal song. And I think that that's really commendable uh, because it allows people to understand that, you know, by expressing these emotions and these struggles, you're not seen as weak. You're not seen as um, broken or feeble. It's something that 
a lot of people need to hear. Because while I feel that these lyrics are very specific to their situation and to the circumstances that surrounded the recording of this album and the passing of their mother, these themes are very universal with people that struggle with depression. And I think it's important for people to be able to hear that, you know, even people that are making aggressive music, um, abrasive music that is, you know, most of the time empowering, it makes you feel strong. You know, it's okay to work through those emotions. There's nothing wrong with that process. If anything, it's healthy to sort through those things instead of just pushing to the side and just repressing them. So I think that this is a really important song for people to hear because no matter what your situation is, uh, you can work through these difficulties, whether it's through art, whether it's through working with people on um, getting through these um, circumstances, or uh, you know, talking to a professional. You know, it could be a friend, family, professional. It doesn't matter. Um, the important thing is is that people just work through difficulties instead of just trying to let them sit there and fester and turn into something that's even worse. And what's really admirable about this song is that it even ends on a positive note, even through all of the negativity that is present on it, all of the pain that is pre uh, present on it. The last line that we hear is, leave the moment alone, which again, encourages the listener to not hold on to the present moment that is pain, anxiety, depression, because everything in life is temporary. The good and the bad. The good, we need to be in the moment. We need to appreciate and respect the moment and get as much out of the moment as possible. And in the bad times, we need to understand too that it's just going to be there for a fleeting moment in this vast thing that we call uh, the human experience, which again, only lasts about 100 years max. You know, in the grand scheme of things, that's such a small amount of time. So again, the good and the bad in life, they're only here for a fleeting moment. So we need to appreciate the good and we need to just push through the bad because it's not going to stick around. And by leaving that moment that is depression, that is grief, you can apply all of those lessons and all of the pain to your life in the future in a positive way, in a way that you can give back to people, in a way that maybe you can better yourself, and in a way that can hopefully inspire creativity and growth within you. But what do you guys think? Did I leave anything out? Do you have anything to add to this discussion? Uh, what are your opinions on what this song may be about? Please leave a comment below, let me know. As always, I've been Corey Kamori. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.